what is going on guys welcome back to the channel so today I'm gonna be putting the CSF custom radiator that I finally got in I'm gonna be putting that on or gonna be putting that in I'm gonna be putting this front lip on because my front lip with these welds sit so low in the front die dude it it catches so much like <laughs> I mean lips anything it's it's pretty much gone so took off today today's actually my birthday so gonna put this radiator in i've been waiting on this thing for a while now gonna see the difference in the temperature i'm super excited about this radiator and hopefully the temperature stays pretty good so we're about to see i'm gonna take it over to my brother's house put it in the basement see how it goes all right guys got the radiator in right now i'm just trying to get the coolant to go through get into the radiator so i'm letting the car warm up a little bit to get it circulating but i will say install is kind of a pain one because my transmission cooler on this side the line actually got stuck inside of my old radiator so it was a pain to get out finally got it out and then sliding this radiator in being a lot thicker with the fans attached was kind of difficult but i did get it in now the car is filthy got my arms dirty got my arms all over the car and stuff so i gotta give it a good wash First, I'm gonna try to get this radiator, get it all bled and everything, get the new coolant in it. See how it does. I'm hoping it does pretty good. It's actually kind of cool out today, but I've been in colder weather and it still used to get pretty warm. So today will be the day we'll be able to tell and see if it actually is working how it's supposed to. So stay tuned, let me get this radiator bled, get some coolant in it, and we'll see what it does. All right, guys. So. This isn't bad. So I know it says 216, but like I have been ripping on this thing. I've done like 10 pulls because I don't know if you guys will see, but in my last video, which is where I took it to the racetrack, I actually had, and I did not know this. So my AC belt actually just broke a couple months ago, about a little over a month ago. So I put a new AC belt on it. Well, I had to take my primary belt off that drives the supercharger and all that. So when I did that, I put it all back on and then I did not tighten up the supercharger belt tight enough. I thought I did. I just kind of cinched down on it with some wrenches or whatnot. Well, this car was only making like four pounds of boost, four and a half pounds of boost. And it would barely peak five, but mainly four and a half pounds. And then it would just start falling off in the higher RP. So I tightened the belt up and this thing is making like seven pounds of boost, six and a half. And you'd be surprised at what two pounds of boost, two and a half, almost three pounds of boost does. I mean, this thing feels like a completely different car. Like I rolled into it and I'm on my radios right now, which are 315, 35, Mickey Thompson, ET Street R's. I rolled into it in first, blew the tires off, his second, blew the tires off, left, left you know, very long black marks. Obviously, I'm in Mexico, but I mean, I've been ripping on this thing. So 214, this would normally be about 224, give or take. Uh, I mean, driving around town, I've been seeing 205, 204. So this has really helped out a lot. You know, I don't think it would ever be what it used to be when it was NA, because I mean, now I have an intercooler down there blocking a lot of the airflow, but I mean, this is this is really good, and the main thing is like when you get to a red light and stuff, that it actually calms down and cools off. Before it would just get hot. So this is actually working out pretty good. Like I said, I just got done. Like as soon as I started video, like I just got done ripping on it. So I, I'm happy with it so far. Don't mind my dirty steering wheel. I need to really clean this thing up. So let me get this thing to the house, and I'll finish up this video for you guys. All right, guys, the radiator is in. And look how much of a difference this makes. I mean, that is a ton of clearance. Now, the radiator looks really good. I'm super happy with it. Come to this side. So much more room, especially under the intake. I don't know if you guys know, or if you guys have a boosted C6, but with the stock radiator, that thing is a pain to put on. I mean, it is, it, it's a pain. But with this aftermarket low cut radiator, no issue at all. Radiator is actually cooling really good. Uh, it did get up a little warm. I was in traffic. I mean, it got up to like 216, 217. But I mean, that's pretty good coming from where it was. I mean, before it get up to 225. So I'm super happy about that. Cruising on the interstate. I mean, 206. 
So that's a lot better than what it was because before it would get, I mean, cruising on the interstate, it'd still be 215, 216 and traffic 225, sometimes 230. So, I mean, to be a 10 degree difference, it's pretty good. I mean, that radiator is $600. So the DeWitt's radiator is about a grand. And then if you put the dual fans on it, which I could put dual fans on this, and it'd probably bring that temp down a little bit more. But I just kind of wanted to see first what it would do with the stock fans. Eventually, I'll upgrade it to the dual fans. But for now, stock fans working great. I mean, this is a lot better than what it was anyways. So I'm super happy about that. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. That'll do it for this video. Hope you liked it. Hit that like button, hit subscribe button. Let me know what you think. We'll put the clutch in there. We'll take it back out to the racetrack. We'll get some good footage of it. But anyways, guys, that'll do it. Peace.